everybody, welcome to the stream. Well, no one's here yet, but I'm still saying hello. This has been another stream. Dora. What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. I'll be here. Hang on, man. Fuck me. Let's go, girl. Follow me. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. No. Yeah, come on. <clears throat> yep, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly. Oh my god. I can't even do my thumbnail because this all the travel just won't work. The same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you, you don't feel like, well, wow, game. That he's doing things a little differently now. You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. This is a nine. I can't even catch up to him or nothing. It's pissing me off already. Good. And espacio, we'll cut through to the right here. The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? To make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Easy. Hey, why are you getting off? Okay. Because you made me get off, you fucking twat. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. We're going to cast them over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Well, what what bait like?
time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky we got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. What the? F well, I guess it's still relaxing, even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. No, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman, especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here, crickets. Ah, uh, that actually gives me the crickets, not fucking douchebag McGee SD. He's a fighter. The trick is, let him tire himself out. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. We got one. Okay, let's try for another. Don't rush it, Arthur. He's small, but might make a nice meal. He's not small? What do you mean? No, I'm keeping you. How is a four pound fucking tro uh, bass small like? I don't know. What do you say? That's fine with me. I can't find my light out, it's doing my head in. Crooked lawman in Reno. We open the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Home O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but... They had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me or uh you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. I'll come. I just wanna crack on with a couple of missions, man. I need to progress because I wanna um unlock a couple of different things like Need to get him a deal or something for camp, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's no food there or something. I don't even know why there's no food there. Whoa. What the fuck? There's no... Easy now. Oh! I could have done with that squirrel. It's gone now though. Ah, oh, never mind. I fucked it. in the way of living. Even fancy women look sour. They'll beat us, Hi there, Arthur. us punish us if we try to stand up to them. Guess I never saw it quite that way. <laughs> Look at the bullet all in his head. You don't even know what boat what the fuck shut up. No Very good. We were getting low. Good job, Mr. Morgan. What this thing you still want more? Are you fucking serious? I'm <clears throat> oh, not even gonna today, man. <sighs> Fucking fed by having no energy and monsters just not doing anything to me. Oh my god, what have I done with that now? Oh, fuck. Please don't fuck me around. Oh my days, it was just for that. Like, what the fuck have I done with that? Everything okay there, Mr. Morgan? Are you well, Mr. Morgan? Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. Sorry about the echo, guys. I didn't realize my laptop was fucking... What the fuck are you doing, Moss? All right. Pray. Still there. Hi, Arthur. Hey there. Hi there, Arthur. Um. My lady. Hi there, Arthur. Come yeah. on, let me go, man. Yeah. 
There, girl. Yep. Fuck is that noise? That feral man was in here earlier as well, like somewhere. Stop, please, fucking hell. I wonder if, um... You all right, girl? No, I doubt it. I was gonna say, this Steven like Valentine gives me yellow cords as well. I doubt it, though. Someone to deal with this. Sorry, take care of your own mess. World full of nice people, and I meet all the assholes. Boss, gonna be sore about this tomorrow. I think maybe you should be sleeping this off. Wash yourself. Damn horse. <laughs> I said no, because every time I say yeah, he doesn't come back anyway. I don't know what the fucking point is in this. He never seems to come back, like. And if you try and loot and take your stuff too soon. Why? Oh, I'm at max. So I just lost on for nothing. <laughs> That's where they float. 
That's a heap of meat you got there, Arthur. Okay then. What is I was gonna say? Right, what mission should I do? Um, Hosea or. Molly, 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 Molly. Um, I'm not doing the Molly one. I'm sure that's a bank robbery. I'm gonna lose a shit ton of uh, honor. Oh, I'm better off doing that first, actually, because then at least I can use Duchess to bring my honor back up a little. Do you want to sit, Morgan? No, I'm good, bro. Hey. Hey there, Jack. Mr. Morgan. That looks fun. I guess. Well, don't let me interrupt you. Uh-huh. No, she got a wooden horse. I want to see that toy, boy. Fuck's sake. Miss Roberts. Is the boy behaving himself? For the I most can part. smell you. Stinky. Oh, charming. Nice one, Jack. Okay, Thank I'll you. Leave you to it then. All right, then, Arthur. I'll take it. I need a wash. I hate walking so goddamn slow. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Call me Molly, would you? Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, oh, how no, is he not seen done. to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What do you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you can hmm. go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? <laughs> you, Charles, what are you? Talking about Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just <laughs> no, I'm not. As long as you ride with us, <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I heard got lazy like us. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <laughs> Come on, then, you miserable.
miserable bastards. Miserable bastards. How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Arthur, get your ass moving, will you? Wow, you boys went off fishing or playing. Oh man, or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting on the business. Finding the nearest grog. House. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? Now, I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Why wouldn't you let me past in the crib? So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> oh. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. Fuck's sake. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs Where? to die here. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Why well, nobody needs to die? Why not? Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't. Unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Thickest Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Check the boxes at the back, Arthur. Now, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! He's being robbed! Yeah! I ain't even got my weapon out, you numpty! How the fuck did they catch us back up? I'm not shooting them because I don't want to lose honor. Get off the trail! Into the woods! Let's shake him and get back to camp! 
No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leaving Cornwall's men in a camp. All right. Whoa. Let, let, let's hide in here. Quick. Hey, hey, easy. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark. Then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep walking. What is this outfit? Sure. Well, we, uh... I changed my outfit and he's done this again. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light. Over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, I, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the the barn. Yes, sir. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. God damn it, Arthur! What? Who's about to get caught, you dumbass? Why wouldn't let me go over there, man? Oh my god, are you kidding me?
It won't let me do anything. I can't jump or fuck all. Uh, get out of my way, you dummy. Yeah, Bill. We need to go! Kick it, Bill! Let's go! Dark Shadow, I want chapter 5. I, I have completed it, bro, but uh, I'm playing again. Uh, I'm still obviously doing a playthrough now, aren't I? Run when you fucking quick behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need just quietly. You take the left and I'll take the okay. your right or my right. Anything? Not yet. Ah! Ah, I'm You're a fucking retard, Ank. Oh yeah, cuz you was really quiet, wasn't you, bro? Fucking dumbass. Again, I know. Get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jess. Stay quiet and move. We left Valentine to get away from that fucking knob end. I know we fucking right back in it with him. What? Save Unc when he's overpowered. Completely taking any help items. Oh, wow. Whatever. I always fuck that up anyway. I will be coming back at the end and replaying these missions, though. The only problem is it gives you shit clothes, shit, shit crap outfits and everything, man. Even if I replayed it, now I'd do it. As soon as the crime gets reported, I'm out. It's bound to happen. Nice one. Right. All right. Let's 
Lenny or Hosea. I'm going to go for Hosea because I think that's going to get the bolt action. I don't know. Whoa, that's cops. Shut up, bro. Oh, bollocks. I should have... Uh, I'll just take the buck in and give it the meat and that off this. I need the skin off this, so... What I should have done is skin the buck and give him the deer, but, oh well. Run! Fucking dick. Oh no, it's Javier. Pissing in the bushes, you dirty bastard. I really didn't want to see that. Hey, get that horse out of here. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. This is the bank robbery in it, I think. Bom 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 bom.
Let me just make sure I got ammo. This sulking, it's becoming very tiresome. Oh, sure. It's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Oh no, this ain't a bank robbery, I don't think, I think it's a brief wait, isn't it, or something? I can't fucking remember, to be honest. I wish it fucking half would run, though. Hey, Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah. Oh, I'm shit. There. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well... I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? <laughs> Gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, Your mom. my fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Who's he talking to? Fucking driver. Is that the fastest we can go? Look at them all following us. I didn't know they followed us. What do you want? 
Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern, run, oh. Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama. Hush now. Mama! I believe they call that a promotional experience. <laughs> As you wish, man. Ooh, you this is a badass mission. Tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. No, I'm right. good. Next stop, the road saloon. I love this Here mission. We go. Man. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for him. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially well, where's my share? In Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. <laughs> all right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. All right. Oh, shit. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Mm -hmm. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. Fucking idiot. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh. Sh you can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you turned Why idiot. You broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. And <laughs> there, there. Don't get mad, huh? Whoa. Okay, Benton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so I'm gonna much. knock you out if you carry on calling me. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Oh, I'll be back now. I really need toilet. I'm not gonna be able to concentrate otherwise. Give me two seconds.
Oh. I'm sorry about that. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, <laughs> but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? Turned idiot. I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Hmm. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. I don't have one, Fenton. Three drinks. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look a gift horse in the mouth. When I see a gift horse, oh, that's high. some strong stuff. Just keep them coming. Sin will catch us all. So drink them. Don't be shy, boys. <laughs> Mr. Grant won't be happy about this. Where's my man? the land of opportunity. Now is your opportunity. You're a fine man, man Fenton. A fine man. man. Don't listen to your brother. Come on, boys. Let's go. Over here, Fenton. <laughs> Party on. Hey, send a couple this way, will you? Come on, Fenton. People are dying of thirst over here. Oh, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> I only went out for milk. What? <laughs> is the spot. Keep them coming, Finn. Just keep them coming. <laughs> drink up, drink! Uh, Moines Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 What the fuck? Shoot this hey, bastard! This way! You think we wouldn't find you? You up against the real men now! Uh. Oh, what the fuck? Let's go. No, I want my gun back. What the hell? Oh, they're just pissing me off. Why would I even want a gun that's worse than the guns I already got? Coming out of the island. 
the way. Never to take up a career in what was it? Advertise. Yeah. <laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. I think Jose, a fancy old fucking woman, brave, wait, like. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. I hate my girl. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different it's states. Not ours. It's Michael's idea. I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of the Nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Josea should definitely take the lead on this. Mm, me. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor too. Now you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Hey, back. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Arthur? Uh
Could you get preaching forgiveness as he went? Um, horse flesh for dinner. I don't even know which one to do. Damn that horse. What? Where's my goddamn horse? You gotta be kidding me, bro. What's he gonna do with you, you fucking dummy? I thought my, my, my fucking on my head was going on. That cat freaked me out. Passing through don't mean to intrude on your politics. Damn jackass. You done good, girl. Can I help you there? Sure. Those supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. town and you're helping everybody and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had problems with a family 
A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. Hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. <laughs> what you do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them they'll get you. Five thousand. Five thousand? Mm. For horses. Easy. Where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. So you're telling me he's gonna give me two enough keep us away from this. Okay. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Mm-mm. in the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Yeah! Good. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Yeah. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. see about some horses horses yeah we had a, an appointment with mr. Braithwaite I believe yeah I never heard about any of this our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here but perhaps we should look elsewhere well I okay then let's head on up to the stables someone will come see you Coming through. All right. All right. 
I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Hitch up here. Watch it. And this bus you motherfucker. You rest up. Let me do the talking. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working that's what you're interested in what is your boys interested in we represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, saratoga is that so unofficially of course this here cerberus here you go boy cerberus is a real reliable stud a hot greaser huh okay bandana's on Need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. What are you doing? Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Easy there, easy. <laughs> Oh my god, come on! It's not working. Are they taking the fucking piss or what? You took too long because he wouldn't fucking let me do it, you piece of shit! Sir, huh? Okay. Bandanas up. Oh. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Alright. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy there. Easy now. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Easy. It's okay. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Easy. You're okay. Whoa, man. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! What oh, the hell are you shit. doing? Stop! Stop! I 
shit! Stop these men! Stop! You son of a bitch! Come on! See if we can get rid of them in the trees. You Horses to Clemens Cove, quick before we run into any more trouble. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Shit, one of the stallions is loose. Keep going, I'll get him. Whoa, there, easy. Yeah, whoa, easy. Just ah, there. it's Come got on. a V on his half lock. Let's get this over with. <laughs> it's got it. It's imprinted. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Uh-huh. You think? Oh, they all got a mark on them. Five thousand for horses. No. Yes, we'll see. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop i'm clay davies that's my brother clive we're twins john arthur javier so what are you cuban no i don't like cubans that's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clyde? 
Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Sure. <sighs> yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. <clears throat> But I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang me. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again. I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. It's all good. I can sell horses to them now, so... <coughs> Pardon me. It's all Leave good in the, the hood. Yarns, spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we was going to be wonderfully rich. Yeah, and they're playing us. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. I hate it when I can't walk. Mutations with sport. Oh, that's when I get the um. Oh, it's need a shitty sniper. I don't really care about that. I don't ever use it anyway. I get it because it's a unique weapon, but. Enjoy the tobacco. Oh, let's just do the Dutch mission over here. Arthur, Arthur. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweat. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. I can't, I don't know when in chapter 3, it might even be chapter 4 that I can buy a better horse, like, I know I can't buy one yet though. I want to change my horse, but I can't change the saddle, so, there's no point.
Boom, 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 boom. Right. What? For fuck's sake, man. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Yep. All right. Good morning, Art. Come on, eh, Charles, for fuck's sake. Yeah. So, where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney. About these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Stay with me! Where the fuck are you, dummy? Shut up. I up in. So, you were saying? Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> Mm. Mm. So, spirits seem good in the new camp. I mean, we got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it Check the house. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. You see anything there? Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Found anything? There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look, say. I guess tracks. maybe, uh... But no body? Not yet. doing let's go they 
went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. <laughs> well, lead the way. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 mm. miles away. Well, we can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. Still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of... Formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in! <laughs> Die, bitch. You stay there. No, he's standing on his stroke. <laughs> Wrong answer, bitch. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. <laughs> well, that's that. Fuck him. All right, that should do it. Come on, let's go. You're a brave girl. <laughs> Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. Where the hell are you headed? I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Bum, 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 yeah. bum, bum. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know <laughs> how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, <laughs> loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? <clears throat> kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked... I'll goddamn find out what he said. Come on, get up here. Yeah. Just ride with me. Come on. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? 
He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Mm -hmm. Ah, you good, girl? I need to have some food, buddy. That must be it. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I think so. Oh, <laughs> well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Who knows? Told them, let's get after those sons of bitches. Where the fuck did this one just go? Did you see those birds? Yeah, where did they go from? Oh, but yeah. Oh, there he is. I'm telling you now. You boys ain't. Shit, they got quite a lot of money on them. I will find you, bastards. Where the fuck? Oh, I see him. We know who you are, and we're coming for you. You're mine now. We got one more, Charles. Look at the birds. Go that way. What way? All oh, right. Okay. What the fuck, Mush? Must be over this side then. No, he's in here. Oh, I see him. What? Hey, I see some... on the ground over here. Yeah, I thought that was something. I knew it. You can't have gone far. Oh, you bitch! I shit myself then. I forgot that he did that. Let me take him. Yeah, okay, bro. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. Shut up, Papa. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. 
fine. Let's go get that rifle man. for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Good. We'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> the rare rolling block rifle. The rest might probably be SUV. <clears throat> sure. What's government agents and me hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope. Right. Oh shit, I nearly walked off that edge then. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Sorry, bro. What was he? Well, he was gonna run if well, I run, I'm but. Still here, at least. So, you okay? Never fine. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh. Attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What'd you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. It's better off having him with us anyway. He might not fuck off all the time. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back to the open country of the West or... What's left of it, but even that ain't the way I remember it. Uh, while well, tracking, Steven and Safety. Oh, fuck off, man. Like, why does it tell you after? It's fucking retarded. I've unlocked the stranger mission. There's two stranger missions, what the fuck? Right, 
Let's go talk to him anyway before I do the next one. I've already given you money loads of times, bro. You bastard! I given you a buck, you bastard! Morning, dear. Hey, hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable because of the leg. Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. It's I mean, just miserable. I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> Nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, I live here. miserable people. And I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. All right, can I go then? Fucking out, dummy. So you're back. Look at yeah, I'm back, you know? weirdo. Sure, don't go greasing up the pages, though. You're gonna buy something, right? You gonna shut the fuck up? Dick in. Well, if that um, shining, why are my guns so fucking... Tools. I've upgraded these they guns, why are they not... Use a few choice parts, really make a sing. I don't get this. I've already done this. Like, what do you mean? This game is a retarded piece of shit sometimes. I did all this on stream earlier. It's not like as if... Wow. I did all this. Like, what do... Listen, you won't take all day, will you? What? You're gonna buy something, right? Dude, shut the fuck up. I've already done this. Like, uh, this pissing me off. I've got to do it again. That gun seems to be working. See, this yeah. one's done, but it's done in brass. Like, and now it's just let me do my other one in gold. Like, why? Ah, uh, I've got two different ones on there now. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. No, you mean. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. 
That gun seems to be well taken care of. Mm, I don't know why the fuck my gun looks like this. Listen, you won't take all day, will you? I'll take as long as I fucking, as long as it takes, bro. So shut the fuck up. All my guns are all weird, like, and I never did this to my gun. Look, I don't... Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good I don't paint see. the fucking scopes, like. I do when they iron sights, but I don't paint them otherwise. Like, the actual scopes, I don't paint. Trap door. Where's the trap door? Why can't I see it? I don't know what the trap door is. You're like. gonna buy something, right? Go crazy me. Trap door. There's a trap door. Oh, I left it because it's got the painting on it. Right. Why are the scopes well, that gun ain't shining? Dude, but you're annoying me. Can yours. you please just shut up, like? I'm confused to why everything's changed. Listen, you won't take all day, will you? See, so look, like, oh, I'm going to cry in a see? minute. Like, none of them are the way they're meant to be. Oh, wait. Yeah, but... See, that's the way it's meant to be. And then... Well, if that gun ain't shining... Glad you take care of what's yours. That's never been touched, so that should be perfect. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. I never touched it, so... That gun seems to be well taken care of. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see.
I'll show you how that goes. Um. You're gonna buy something, right? What? I picked... Oh, lucky Alright, that's all of it. I'm sorry it took so long, guys. I didn't mean to take the piss, honestly. Right, um... If that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. I can put some sights on that if you're interested. You'll appreciate the improvement. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. Listen, you won't take all day, will you? No, I'm done now, dickhead. Just shut up. How much a day? Okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? I didn't uh. mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. <laughs> That's my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love for my medical practice. 
too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm -hmm. And not. It's because they racist, so it's not because of you. Were you looking for that fellow's wagon? Yeah. I heard them say they was taking it to Macomb's in. Okay, thanks. Hey there, partner. I wonder how long these guns will be saved on my Ah, oh, there we go. Never mind. Ah! That was almost bad. There we go. Who goes there? Where you got to work? Where you got to work? Oh, 
Oh, fuck that. If that's all they got on them, what's the point, man? Okay, come on. Get you back to the dock. Yep. Whoa. Oh! You dumb motherfucker, man. What the fuck? Stop making them noises, man. What? Uh, how the fuck did they destroy it with one shot? I don't get that. They shot me fucking literally once. Like, what the fuck? Oh, they might have shot the horse. Why is my horse coming? Oh, that was a civilian great. Yeah. Get out the fucking road, you retard! Fuck me, like. Ah, uh, you know this fella, don't you? Oh, look who it is! I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? 
No, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Hey yo. I like me got a half a head. What? What's wrong with my head, dummy? How's it going? Oh, you should see things. yourself. Don't reckon you're gonna remember much of this. Sorry to hear that. Good luck. Was that so? So, that's something at least. Who makes the rule? Don't you worry about it, okay? What you want? You okay? <laughs> Who the fuck is this dude? Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look off. Oh, I know who he is. Fucking right. Look at me. Useless. Good. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> My old house. House my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a North of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Sagebrush crop this season. That's the rumor. I'm drunk as a skunk. Uh oh, mister. <laughs> Hello. Been a while since you were around this way. Mm. 
Might as well just go and do this really quick, Thank seems I'm um, yeah. I don't want to, but it'll make more sense than if I leave it and then do it later on. You're going to be like, eh? Right, I shouldn't have really started it, but... Now that I have, I need to finish it. Get away from my plant, Mush. Get away from it. It's mine. Oh, it's you. Well, if you're feeling foe, I'm not looking for trouble, friend. They mine, bro. Thank you. Bye, dude. Are you gonna think I'm chasing him now? I'll go off road. Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne. We do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. I can't remember how I gotta get in there now. Hedger. Ah, uh, if I uh, I'll go through a door, my opener.
Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay. Where's all this old crap? Pa, God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck. None of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Ah, a trap door, huh? <laughs> huh? What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah, easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Come on! God damn it! Now the watch and ledger. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Oh my god. He's even sleeping kids. Just like... a damn watch. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. Where's that goddamn watch then? I don't understand, you needed a torch, the lamp to come down here, right? But you can see down here now just fine without there. There it is. Hmm. 
Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. So why is everyone firing him all the time? There's got to be a reason. That's the old watch. Oh, this is the barn that I went down, huh? One of these has got to be a good skin, please, like. Oh my god. Let's go, girl. Oh man, you should show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. 
What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old oh, man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's mm -hmm. my history. Unfortunately. Is that it? Why can't... It's my thumbnail for my next stream. <laughs> oh shit, my laptop died. Sorry guys if anyone commented. I don't know, it's dark, isn't it? Like, really dark.
Oh shit. What's the time? Um, I'll do this one last mission guys and then I'm going to end it because the stream I'm going to check now how long the stream has been going but it's been a while yeah. It's definitely been a while I may do another one tonight it all depends um, if anyone even wants to see it because like, uh, no one's been even commenting Easy. Uh, I need to get off the train track. Before I get so far on and the train comes and I'm fucked. I'm trying to find water. I'll wash my horse. I didn't see any crocs at first, there's fucking loads in there though. One, two, three, ah, oh, they look at them all in the bank over there. Fuck. Yeah. Um, I do need to get one or two, but, uh, yeah, I need to get cows, bulls, all sorts, so I'll do all that off stream now tonight. Because there's no point me streaming again. This has had hardly any views, no comments, nothing. Maybe I picked the wrong time to stream, I don't know. Oh, when is he going to give me a perfect ball? Like, that's all I want. Any of these? Yeah, that one. Which one, which one, which one? Right, okay. Which one is it? Oh, it was that one. Yeah. What is my horse doing? Oh my god. Well, you just didn't hear that gun. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. We can still live free. I'm not gonna fight him. I wanna do the mission. I need it for a saddle. I need them for my, for PS as well, but
Uff, buono. Good girl. Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along, man. Easy there, girl. Sir? Oh, they got slaves, man. Fuck's it. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? Well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Is it she lets you talk about us? Uh, I don't think you talk about kids like that. Like. She's got something to say about everything else. No, I'm driving. Fine. Come on, then. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. You that can't smug be here. fucker. Okay. What are you on about? So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? Where's my fucking horse? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. 
using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking as how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Yeah. Why can't I go anyway? I'm slow as fuck, man. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? <laughs> well, they know you. What? Here, I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it, I don't make me laugh. I'm gonna, I need a pee. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do I can't it. see. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. 
Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <coughs> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite. <laughs> <laughs> You can hold up in here till it gets dark. I tried to pick up the hat. <laughs> I wanted the hat. How you getting on? Good. You already got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down out of houses. Oh, burn quiet. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Um. A TV, hang on. <clears throat> that was bad timing. Where the fuck is that? Where's my remote? already arrived this one didn't strange so what you got there tools payroll okay <laughs> drop it by the supply shed payroll eh? fields sure see you later you hear that payroll yeah let's get this job done first okay i'll take care of this fella You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. That should do it. Good for here. Should be enough for here. Something there? Hey, who's that? 
Nobody. Fuck. I knew it. He turned as soon as I went to run. He turned. Like, oh, fucking bullshit, man. <sighs> I need a break now. That's what it is. Dan agitated and tired. Oh no. There's someone coming on the left. Oh for fuck's sake, like. <sighs> this is gonna annoy me even more. When I'm annoyed, I'm gonna fuck up even more. This one didn't. Strange. So what you got there? Tools? Payroll? Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll? Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Meet me at the barn when you're done. Shine them fields up good, all right? Keep your head down. It's good for you. That's good. Should be enough for here. Come on. Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna get caught.
What's that pink dot up there? I'm not gonna go up there anyway. I need to wait for this guy now again. I'm gonna delve this too. Shit! Fuck! What the fuck, like? I thought I had to do the fucking moonshine! Uh, this mission's annoying the fucking shit out of me. I never struggled, I like, guess, the first time. I done it first, like, first try. And that was my first playthrough. I don't know what the. Oh my god, what the fuck. I thought I had to doubt it, but he says he's going to do it, do not I? I thought that guy was looking at us as well the first time. It's going to be a long... I'm going to doubt this too. I think she'll go, Arthur. Light her up. What do I have to do? Oh. Look at that! Yeah! Now let's bond those bloody fields to the ground! Shit! 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 This is a goddamn mess. Look out! There's more of them! There goes out right out of here. The wagon we saw coming in. We can nick horses from that. Alright, where is This way! Stay with me! Shit! More of the bastards! Look out! Here come more of them! Bright white slugs! Down here! Come on! I'm gonna watch these rocks! Be an army of them? 
They didn't tell me nothing. <laughs> See, there it is. Maybe they have it on the Oh my god, that fucking old way. I've had enough of this game today. I need a break. I need a break. I don't even know what what the fuck just happened there. Like, why would you shoot the horses that? Yeah, but why you did it all the way into a fucking horse that I had to get on? Oh, this is turning into a disaster. <laughs> this mission, oh my days. All right, let's steal some horses from the stables and get out of here. Damn it! No, we got. This is bloody madness! Look out! There's more of them! Ah! This is a goddamn mess. Better get us paid real well for this. Bloody right. All right, come on, we'll take those horses. Well, let's uh, see if the payroll actually in there. Hurry up. Oh boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Right, but let's go. Looky here, you get them horses, free marker. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I never seen that the first time either. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, 
I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. That was a disaster for me, that mission. An absolute fucking disaster. I was ready to end it before that mission, see, and I'm just fucking tired and exhausted. Need to eat. Need a rest, man. Why can't I, um, I've got too many, like, white on that. I need a brown one. What the fuck? Why, dude? It won't let me on that horse. It's not his horse, though. I'm done. I am done. Oh, right then. I'm gonna do some fucking, um, well, I'm gonna have some food and that first and stuff, and then I'm gonna catch up on some of the hunting and bollocks. I don't know if I'm gonna stream again today because I'm fucking seriously pissed off right now. Uh, but if not, it'll be first thing in the morning, guys. So, yeah, I, I hope whoever did watch enjoyed, and I am gonna go and get some fucking food inside of me. So yeah, we'll feel guys hold tight bye for now. Yeah, there's a couple of videos coming up as well, um like of robberies and stuff that I've done off stream that um obviously I'm gonna stick in somewhere along the line. Um but yeah. Um I can't even think straight. Right, I'm going guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you out.